So this is my first year keeping bees in central Oregon. Uh, I got a flow hive and uh, last year we had record snowfall so I decided we ne I needed to be prepared for this winter. Since I have a queen excluder between the brood box and the flow frames, uh, I decided I needed to add a middle box and this is August. Not enough time to build up eight full frames so I had four frames with insulation on both sides. And that was the setup I had um, going into winter. I added two thermometers, one in the bottom brood box and one in the middle box. Nothing in the top frame and then I insulated the whole thing with uh, an inch and a half of insulation. So then I kept temperature records. Um, the red line is the middle box and the yellow line is the bottom box. September, um, nothing much happened. October, I did not mess with the bees at all. I just uh, observed the temperatures and the ambient temperature here was just one reading per day. So it's kind of a, uh, doesn't show the fluctuations that we really get here in Central Oregon between nighttime and daytime, which can be 40, 50 degree difference Fahrenheit. Uh, in November and December, I used the local readings from our local weather station so that you could see more of the temperature fluctuation. So here we are, November. Everything seems fine with the bees. I see plenty of activity. Uh, around the 8th of November, the high for the day gets to 32, uh, freezing. So I decide to reduce the entrance to an inch and a half. And I just leave it that way. And here you see the wild uh, fluctuations, but because the hive is insulated, the temperatures inside the hive remain fairly steady. And... Uh, little before Thanksgiving we had a nice warm spell and I did nothing to the entrance I just left it and now you see the temperatures inside the hive taking a dive around December 6 I uh, put a cheap plastic cover around the hive left it open like that um, for airflow and I uh, just figured that would help with any wind, protect it from the wind. Um, kept recording temperatures and the temperatures just uh, continued to dive. And I am assuming from this that my hive has collapsed. I'm not certain, but um, it doesn't look like this is a good picture. Ever since Christmas, I have not seen any cleansing flights, any activity, no dead bees on the landing board. So what happened? Did I have no queen going into winter? Did I suffocate the bees in that warm spell? Or are they still alive? Uh, what do you think and what recommendations would you give me for next year? Thank you and goodbye. Uh, come back and I'll let you know what happened to the bees.